Today I'm going to show you how to do some quick and easy linear regression analysis with Excel. The first way of doing this is with the data analysis tool pack that Microsoft provides for Windows users of Microsoft Excel. Um, I'm not going to show you how to use this. Uh, you might be able to figure out on your own. Um, another thing that you might be able to use if you're using the Mac version, which doesn't include the data analysis tool pack, is something called Oatbran. I'll post a link to this at some point so that you guys can can look at it and use it if you if you so desire. But I think the easiest and fastest way is using the line st function, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I have some some x and y data here, and the first thing I'm going to do is select this data and generate. A scatter plot. Now, this is something that you're going to be doing for your lab reports. Um, you will need to clean this up quite a bit before actually including it in a lab report. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to add a trend line. Uh, so we're going to add a trend line of a type of a linear type. Um, we're going to display the equation on the, on the chart and display the R squared value on the chart. And so here you go. Uh, so this is the linear regression analysis. But you'll note a couple of things. Um, we don't have the error in the slope and the error in the intercept provided to us here. And so we need those for a lot of the analysis that we're going to do in PCHEM Lab. Um, and so we have to have a way of doing that. Now, the, the, the easiest and fastest way that I've found to do this is with the line ST function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and highlight this cell. I'm going to hit equals L-I-N-E-S-T parentheses open. Okay, and this opens the function for us to start dealing with. And, and here are the things that have to go into this function. The first thing is, is the y values. So we're, I'm simply going to select those and hit a comma to move to the next thing, which are the x values. This third thing is the constant. And basically this is a parameter for setting your intercept equal to zero. We don't want to do that. We want to let the data decide where the intercept is going to be. So I'm going to leave that alone and basically I'll just put another comma in, leaving it blank up here in the formula. And that will set it to what it needs to be set to. Um, we do want the statistics, the statistics for the linear regression analysis. So I'm going to set this value equal to true and then close the parentheses and hit enter. Now what you'll see is that this gives us the slope. There's the slope, 1.6774, same thing here. Okay. Now this formula, Linus T, is an array formula, which is maybe a little different than, than you've used before uh, with Excel. And the way these work is that I'm actually going to select a large section here and this compro uh, comp is comprised of two columns and uh, four rows or five rows depending on how you look at it but this but this box here and then I have to actually select in the formula bar here and I'm going to hit command enter as a Mac user you would use control shift enter if you're using Windows and what this does is it automatically fills in all this data. Now here I've got a kind of a legend telling you exactly what each of these values represents. Um, the first is obviously the slope. The second is the intercept. You can see it's the same as what we have from, from in our chart. Um, here we have the error in the slope and the error in the intercept. So this is the error in the slope. This is the error in the intercept. Here's our R squared value just as it is on the chart. Um, here is the standard error in y. It's not something that we're going to use a lot, but it basically tells us what the error of y is in the in the fitted values versus the the experimental values. Um, not something that we use a lot, but but there it is. Um, here we also have the f statistic and the total degrees of freedom that we will use in this uh, in this in this analysis. Okay, and finally some sum of squares for the regression analysis and, and for the residuals. Uh, you won't use these, any of these things quite so much um, as you will the standard error in the slope and the standard error in the intercept. These are the, the main values that we'll be using for our linear regression analysis uh, in PCHEM Lab. So that's how you do it. Um, if you need to do some kind of editing here, we can actually see that if I change this value to 2.8, it will automatically update everything in this formula. And so this is the simplest way that I know of to do linear regression analysis to get your standard error in your slope and your intercept. Um, have a good day. Thanks.